Uh huh. All right. Like that. Let's see. Mm, okay. Thank you guys <laughs> for being there. Uh, just, I'm using a laptop and I have to bring it to the computer store. Uh, because I had the same problem. Because at some point, you know, when, when I'm using, uh, it happens with, uh, when I have the Google Chrome enabled. It's like, they need just to uh, place some kind of thing because there's inside the laptop there's like an area that uh, uh, gets hot uh, real really um, really fast. Um, I <laughs> if I click uh, the sort I prefer is uh, M blood. That's my my most favorite uh, source port. Okay. Um, races are actually really good too. Okay, it's really good, but uh, I prefer M Blood. Sometimes I play uh, on Fresh Supply too. Not Blood. Uh, I did. I tried. I tried, and it's actually really, really good. I have to give it a try again. Uh, because the last time I tried was. Eight months ago or something like that. So I want to give it a try again. Okay, so I go back to this to the map and I hope, of course, yeah, didn't save. Or yes. One Auto save one, nope. Auto save two, nope. That's the good thing about auto saving. Yay! Auto save three. Three. Auto save four. No, so to save three was the last. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'll be I'll doing the stream anyways. Um, I hope I don't know the other people can <laughs> come back. I don't know, <laughs> but well, anyways, I'll be doing it. Uh, mm -mm -mm. so one. Out and I hope the laptop don't fail me again. <laughs> Pretty please with sugar on top, don't fail me. So yeah, basically I have to go to the restore again. That area of the laptop that gets so hot. Well. Okay. So do 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 scroll look here, save. And then uh one moment to there's a a thing here, you know, like a small line in the middle of the the wall. This naturally indicates the um this indicates the middle point of the of the wall and is very useful. Okay. There. And yeah. Okay. I pressed escape, okay, to uh, exit, uh, to exit the, the selection or to deselect. And yeah, again, I forgot to, uh, to enable the program. I hope it works. I hope so. Yeah, it's enabled. And yeah, the same thing. But it's not. Oh, yeah, now it seems that it shows. Yeah, I believe it shows. Yeah, <laughs> now it shows all the 
all the keys. Perfect. Now, in 3D mode, uh, there are uh, actually four movement modes, but I only enable three because the step mode is one that I don't use, never use it. So, this is the gravity mode, three mode. I can kind of fly by pressing A and And then the mouse look. Mouse look is like flying freely. Okay. So. Mm. Yes. Now, to make slopes, you just uh, press the square brackets. Okay. What I want to do, I'm not happy with the outcome, so something like that. Yeah, much better than before. Now, more things. Mm. Three. Oh. Nice. Four. Negative. Here. Here. I insert. Uh, points by pressing insert, okay, and yeah, with by pressing the left mouse button, of course I can selections for vertices and sprites. So this is what the player will see. And of course, I I'm missing thing. Uh, black screen. Um, uh, Front. Front. Confirm. Oh yeah, I have it here. Oh, okay. So this is actually even better because I can show you how to delete uh, comments like this. Delete. Delete the comments. Yes. And I can move uh, the arrow and the text. So I want it here, so it doesn't uh, bother me here. Perfect. Okay. So, um, um, I'm thinking on what to do. Okay, I'm going to do more things. And I didn't uh <laughs> plan. I'm in it. Now when I come up with certain ideas, I apply them right away. Okay, and also I want to show you another wonderful tool. I believe it's the or the or the no the tricks menu, the tricks menu. So I can make steps one by one, you know, like one, two, blah blah. blah. I can do it, but there is another way. Like them, Alt G R, okay, the Alt G R, or uh, left shift, middle mouse button. Uh, you will use <laughs> and here and 
two it's this one yeah so f9 value eight step eight it easy i have it it's done um hmm. i'm thinking because perhaps if i extend this so this area is going to be better, I believe. Let's I'll give that a try. And of course I can't do this. You see, I can't. Why? Because unlike uh you see, I can't. Because unlike uh Doom Builder. When you're uh, doing more sectors, automatically the program will insert vertices on other walls. Here it doesn't happen. I can't explain why, but it's the way our beloved Kenneth Silverman made this map editor. Uh, something like this, and I want to test and see okay, mm -mm. want to test the. I believe it's gonna look fantastic. Right? Yeah, as you can see, the orientation isn't the same. So, Alt F, and then change. Am I going to do this here on 3D mode? over and over and over again nope because it's from a point of view time consuming so i'm going to do something different oh, okay so it goes mm, that and then uh, hmm. okay Forty-five. Yeah, there we go. And with control pitch up, I can move the ceiling or the floor to the to the highest uh, ceiling nearby. Then, oh yeah. So let's suppose that I want to uh, modify the orientation of these sectors. You can see there's an F there, so it indicates you the sector orientation. Okay, so by pressing F, we change it. So I prefer to do the, the orientation here to the mode and then I Go back to the mode and set. I just do this manually. And yes, now much better. Yep. Yep, it does. So this is going to be starting area. And yeah, I'm satisfied with it. for now. Perhaps later I change some things. Who knows? Okay, three size. Allow me to check uh, the draft. And, okay. So. Here is where I say, okay. 
I join and I make sectors like this. Okay, insert again, uh, vertices with insert and spacebar for making. Now, okay, so here I see that I added in the mausoleum a few areas. Well, few windows, really, or just a window. Okay, enough. Hmm. Okay, so yes. Okay. Five. Mm. Something like this. Now, this starts to make sense. So, where was the here? I believe. Yeah, it was here. So. Oh. Right now, I'm in the uh, modeling uh, page of my workflow, and this is what I do. So, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time, but anyway. Actually, good. And as you can see, it isn't as hard as perhaps you heard somewhere. Because uh, generally build uh, has some kind of reputation. Junky wits. That's then true. It's hard. It depends. But for blood, you'll see that it isn't as hard as red or as you imagine. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the shape of this graveyard, and I'm trying to reduce the size a bit. Mm, maybe enough. Ah, I don't think so, but <laughs> maybe I change later. <laughs> maybe I'll change later. Okay. Here goes a bench. Because a lot of people would love to sit next to a mausoleum. Hmm. Okay, so here I'll put some grapes. Um. Okay, here goes. Path. This way. Okay. 
Okay. I thought to add more detail here. Area. Nope. Want to search for anything. Numerical path 5 to reset tiles. Now, this is very important. When you work with uh, textures, like right now, please deactivate the, uh, the numerical path. Otherwise, when you press, when you press sorry, shift and numerical path 4, okay, right now it's deactivated, so I can be more accurate. If I don't, this is what happens. I can be as accurate as I love to. So, numerical pad should be deactivated. Okay. So, to give you some context, this is going to be some kind of stone, and here I want to make uh, hedges around the courtyard. Uh, here. Gonna be what comments hmm. so sixteen. Minus 16. Okay. Minus 16. This gate in shape. So, as you can see, you're making modifications along the way. Now, a uh, detail about uh, modern, as you can see, this isn't as thick as this. So, what you do, press G and try this and now it looks much better. Even if you go to 3D mode, looks much, much better. Okay, these are actually two sides. Hmm. Okay, that was fake. Only one. Uh, okay, so this. Then again. I repeat the same uh, operation. This also happens when you work brushes in, say, French Room, for example, or any other 3D map editor. Okay, nice. So next are the graves. So, uh, mm, going to be to here. Yep. Mm. And it will be two. Here, but I use rights. Um, let me check because I believe there's a bench here. Yep, it is a bench right here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, all right. This is harder than I thought. But never mind. And see how I can. Oops. I can solve this. So, just my advice when you find challenge uh, while the map, don't give up. Give it a try and see if you are unable to, that's fine. Can go to the old Discord channel and ask there. Because if you try, I don't know, other places, perhaps you get silence. You get silence as uh, an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I believe. No, I don't like that. No. Oh. J and delete it. So here is another bench. Once again, this is not going to be the final version. A lot of things to do. Looking for more detail. <laughs> no. No. Mm. That's better. What's better? Oh, exits here and uh, so naturally I'll put you or zombies that in you want them one. They have first enough room. Second, the player will have enough room, and third, the player will have supplies deal with them okay now mm, I'll see what I have next it's going to be yeah I can go in a few areas yeah I you that's the case yeah and see I can join areas like this. and this won't uh implode the map editor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Perfectly fine. That's a uh, operation. That's an operation I can do without now. I'm thinking that this kind of a uh, uh, path is boring. It, it is. Oh, like 90 degrees here and there. So I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is to modify the walls by inserting lots of points. So it's in grade, yeah, size three. Nice. So oh. 
I love to have some music in the background, but somehow I had uh beginning for the for starting the streaming and which studio went nuts so I had to <laughs> stop it so now this looks more interesting let's say that this is like yeah I want it more rounded do that and I'm going to show you how to do rounded uh, walls. So, example, press C, and with a numerical pad plus and minus, I decrease or increase the number of dots. This, and once I'm happy, I press spacebar, and that's it. Now, uh, Yeah. So now you can see that it's very easy to do. Okay. Here and once I'm happy with this uh with this shape, I increase the grid size and add more uh points. And with this, I believe it should be all right. I think so. Yep, it is. Now, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do like for one and one and I'm going to make on here so don't worry I know what I'm doing I mean I know um what area is this okay this is the one of the graveyards once I go here I'm going to find the main graveyard, you no, know, or the main courtyard, like. Um, I know some people right now want to add textures straight away. I just wait for that. I explained before. I like to um, I like to um, focus on one task. Okay, mm, so sorry, save. Let me announce that I'm back because I believe I just only put like a message that I had technical issues. <laughs> so perhaps like the people don't know, uh, still streaming. Anyways, if you still have any any questions, uh, it's the right moment to ask them. Mm. Okay, that's it. So. Done. Hmm. So what I thought here is to uh, is this is going to have a different texture. Okay, it's going to be grass, and here perhaps I do that. And what I'm going to do here is to create steps. This.
Uh, and because I use it the grid size, I don't have to, you know, try to adjust the points beforehand. Go straight away, and I save the uh, the process of okay, this point goes here and this here, and now I can go and do this. You know, so the I mean the grid is here for a reason. It was created for actually a multiple reasons. So use them, and now. To be honest, uh, we he uh, I improvised this map uh, this morning. <laughs> Came up with this map this morning. Um. Okay. And oh, I believe it looks much better than before. Okay, yes. And here I'm to make this like kind of broken. Let's say that it's broken. Broken and there we go. The beers. I don't know how to spell it. Not that word. Just like pieces. <laughs> pieces of uh, stone here and there. And again, spacebar, Alt S. Keep going. Oh yeah, I believe I also forgot to say something on here, I believe. Let me check real quick. I'm not really used to, <laughs> to this streaming, so this is my second, my second attempt. Okay, and okay, so let's get back the map. Mm. I'm trying also to go as fast as I can, but I don't know. I said, you know, this is some time. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the next part and size them. So, you know, like it gives you like the impression that this is an old uh, graveyard. There's no maintenance <laughs> whatsoever. No, and I'm sure that after completing <laughs> this, uh, this app, after completing the, uh, the uh, modeling process, later I'll add more detail. <laughs> uh, but, well, that's the funny part, fun of uh, making levels. Okay, so now the graveyard goes next. 
this huge <laughs> sector as possible, and then third dots. And that's why I don't use left mouse button to select. <laughs> because if the cursor is close to a, a, a sprite or a dot, I select it instead. So, right, shift, always, and then I move. Always make sure that uh, you have the same uh, distance here. So, just do this and join it. And naturally, this is huge. It's good. <laughs> And we uh, watch much uh, more. Wow. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Mm, yep, I'm more happy with this. I'm happier, sorry. Happier. Ooh. Great. So, one moment because I want to show you something. I want to go back to my drawing and want to give you an indication. Here, there we go. Now, here, this area, you know, it isn't a null space or no space at all. Here, I, I plan to do like a platform rounded by hedges and boom, or tombs or some kind of decoration okay so in fact this graveyard and the main courtyard will be uh, together so to speak and you'll see how it's done okay first of all I want use <laughs> The size of this hole oh, will be big. Actually, really, really big. I don't want it so huge. Mm. Mm. Yes, I believe. Okay. Yep. Now it's better. Much better. Now, I said I want to join area. I mean, this area, I want to join it. It's actually easy. So, allow me to check again. Go in and see. Okay. Mm. I heard a vertex right there, and I start from here, space bar. And this is how you do it. Whoops. Nope. Smaller. Maybe this 
Fusion. Perfect. And that's it. And if I go, you can see we have our wider look. Okay. I raise it. So, mm -mm. so, mm. okay. Two with uh, right control and then page up. What? Uh, and they keep buying inside. Oh. Expect this kind of things happening while you're doing the map. Combine and make applications. And that's fine. I think that uh, you're not doing, you don't have any uh, timeline. Okay, so. Okay, so it's going to be like hedges. Well, kind of like hedges and platform, and the platform is going to here okay alt s and vector will be just fine mm. Right. Because you know like the player can will I will be able to jump here and see all the main culture. Okay. This is good. For now, I'm happy with this. Now I'll move Ojar itself and look. Insert and that's it. Oh. Just mm. ah, oh. um, I started this call again by mistake or by accident. Mm.
this will represent some sort of platforms where the that are worried. Okay, so have uh, an idea. Mm. Yeah, something like this. We'll have this height, kind of. Maybe I'll increase the height of platform. Maybe let's see. I don't plan to make a maze in this area. I don't want to do that. Mm. Here. Oh yeah. Now that I'm at it, this will be like really small uh or jar or area or I don't know, perhaps storing things. Now oh, I want there's right here. Oh yeah, I was right. I intended to some four, oops, so four. Okay, I've uh, determined the the width of uh. The double doors here. Staircase, a uh, rounded staircase this way. Okay. I leave the indication like this. Hmm. Now it's better. Great. Um, I intend um this map for a uh, single player bloodbath and. Capture the flag. 
and naturally you'll uh, you'll learn how to set up those uh, game modes. Okay, and that was was that here I made a weird shape. <laughs> okay, it's actually rounded. Okay, so okay. One, two, three, and I can raise them at the same time. I mean, this is very useful because, like, uh, what, what, when we used Mapedit, we were unable to select all the sectors we wanted. Uh, you know, so, like, it was hard, especially if we um especially if we were working with overlap sectors okay so just for example you want to uh where are you mm. okay so this one was like truth map from the passage here there you have like overlap sectors so if for some reason you wanted to work with any in particular, you know, or any sectors in particular, you know, it, it was hard to do this and then, oh, but I'm not, I'm not able to uh, select this one, okay, and work with this individually. Now, you're able to. Okay. Wow. One second. Where are you? We are... Okay, this is actually weird. One moment. Mm. Okay. Moment. Number one, and now number two. And that's why <laughs> we have the autosave function. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> okay. So, my intention here was to do some sort of beautiful path surrounding these areas, you know, like when you go to a graveyard and you can like walk the path and and see the graves. I wanted to make it uh, beautiful by creating paths surrounding these places. So, okay, I go this way, and, mm -hmm. yes, so I'm going to get a long, well, not a long red sector, but, well, it's going to be a huge red sector, yeah, <laughs> indeed, <laughs> okay. So, in a few minutes, I'm going to end this streaming, okay? As I intended, like, one hour, two hours, approximately. And <laughs> my apologies for that uh, technical problem I had before. It was totally unexpected. I didn't check my 
Twitch account to see if um if the streaming was recorded until <laughs> it stopped recording. I'm not really sure. But if it isn't stored, well, I have a lack, so I can't do anything about that. There's no point in, <laughs> in, I don't know, like uh, cursing and getting upset. Oh, yeah, this is getting along just fine. Uh -huh. So, um, as you know, well, all, all the people watching, uh, the streaming, you are familiar with Death Wish, that fantastic add on made by Blotoid, aka Justin Twilay. I'm not sure if I <laughs> spell the name and surname correctly. Um, is mm, I mean, he made Death Wish by using Mapedit. So he don't work, let's say, with all the advantages that Extended Mapity provides. So if you want um, maps decently um, detailed, naturally you need to invest time on them. Don't get fooled. The more detail your map has, more time you spend. So by now, there is uh, no ways, or at least I don't know any other ways to speed up the detailing process, unless the AI can <laughs> speed up for me, a little bit, <laughs> but that's not going to happen. Okay. And yeah, perhaps this is the most <laughs> complex <laughs> single sector I've, I've ever created. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so fun to, so fun to create this, really. I usually work with music. And as I said, somehow, it's a studio, ah, screws that up. But when I'm just mapping by my own, I listen to music, rock, uh, rock, rock, heavy metal, sometimes jazz, bossa nova, things like that, you know, and lo-fi, uh, hip hop, too. And it really helps me while mapping. I oftentimes uh, listen to podcasts too. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's the cream, man? I'm glad you joined it. It's streaming. Thank you for, for, for watching. It has been a bit hard to uh, arrange a good hour 
and date because not everybody is living in Ireland. <laughs> so in Ireland, sorry, in Ireland. You know the time zone and all of that. Okay, so you might be wondering, Alexis, because that's my name. I'm Sethak, but my name is Alexis. So you might be wondering, Sethak, uh, how are you planning to join <laughs> the rest of the uh, sectors? Oh, 5 p.m. Okay, yeah. So here right now it's uh, 11. Like 11 p.m. It's uh, one hour more and it's midnight. But this is what I do. I join them just like this. Insert vertices. And then I press J. I drag point to an existing point and that's it. Um, as I said before, at some point this will be improved. But not now. Uh, there we go. And here too. And I'll show you uh Brother Map <laughs> I'm unable to pronounce your name. I mean your nickname, sorry man. Uh, but I'll show you what I've been doing. So basically, this is the starting area. It's a mausoleum. So here we start here. And then it's going to be supplies, zombies, this area. So the player will have plenty of room to move. Then you go down the steps and you face the main <laughs> you face the main graveyard. So what I'm doing is because this is going to be some sort of uh cool tombs. Okay, now it looks so blocky, let's say. Oh the man <laughs> now <laughs> now I know you. It's so nice to to have you in the history. Um, like later I had a technical problem, and well, I don't know if the other streaming is there. I'll check that later. Anyways, I'm in my day off, so hey, PHP, <laughs> welcome back. As I was saying, um, I had a technical problem with uh, with my laptop, and well. I had to start Windows again. It completely froze. Completely froze. I wasn't able to do anything. But to <laughs> press and hold the <laughs> I mean the power button. <laughs> Restart. Okay. Well, that's it. Ah yeah, I have to join this sector too. Oops. Now. And well, Daman, um, I'm going to show you the draft. This is the map. <laughs> Thanks, Daman. And, well, this is what I'm going to do. So right now, what you're learning or watching is how uh, you model this. So, uh, okay, here we go. Later, I plan this path to be a bit broken. Now, there's going to be pieces here and there. Okay. And this will take a little bit of time, but of course, it's worth it. Worth it. Okay, so 
this is where the coffin star will be, but I know this is like big, so perhaps not perhaps I'm going to do a trick with the sky, so this looks smaller. Of course, when you look from here, it will look kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, from a point of view, the build engine isn't fully 3D, just 2.5, meaning that, from a point of view again, there are certain limitations that you won't see in other 3D modern engines. Okay, so I'll take a look again and see. So this is going to be, yeah. Gardening tools. Okay. Yes, yeah, small place. This rectangle. Re rectangle. La 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 la. <laughs> this rectangle uh, is made of sprites. Because here there's a platform and a secret. Okay. So. we go. I think one more moment. Nope. It doesn't go here. So when you make these mistakes, like right now, either you press uh, left shift, middle mouse button, and control delete, or just delete. No, just control delete. Or you join them with J. Okay, so I prefer to do control delete. For those you're wondering, there's no undo and redo feature yet. It's planned. But um, no one is working on it as far as I'm concerned. So, when I want to leave marks about my future um, sprite work, what I do is this. Um, I just set up right. I press R twice and then I leave the mark. So I go here, insert, then I rise them. Whoops. So I know this is like kind of a platform here, kind of a <laughs> Beautiful uh, room. Uh, sorry, roof. Yeah. <laughs> Not undo. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I don't know when no one is going to implement it. I don't know. Because he's working on modern features right now. I don't know. Uh, well, at some point, I guess. From it, it's like hard to. Uh, to figure out his, uh, let's say, his to-do list. So, what I'm planning here is just to, from certain point, I don't know, if you're looking from here, like, okay, there's like some, uh, there's something there, like, oh, there's, uh, I don't know, some sort of supplies, and the player has to do some platforming, and easy peasy. That's the that's the goal. And okay, so mm, mm. five. And this okay, plant this here, and then it's going to be a small room for the gardening tools. Uh, something like this. And now that I'm thinking on it, I want to create not only the the door, I mean the uh, the door, but the window too. So I do this 3D mode again. Lower them. Mm. One second.
Oops. And I went back to the <laughs> one room size. Okay. Um, let me get this and the small window because um, I like okay, so uh, one moment, nope, control delete, perfect, and, and this one too. Oh, delete. So personally, I like that the buildings. When when I'm mm, trying to recreate, let's say, realistic areas, realistic places, I like to uh, put windows. Just like you can see <laughs> at your house or any other buildings. Or at least, let's say. Decent buildings, because I don't like the modern architecture. For example, brutalism, not my cup of tea. And this is all enough. I mean, uh, for me, this is just some personal preference, but when I see a, a brutalist uh, building, it's, it's like, okay, I think I'm Working in an industrial zone doesn't have the warmth of a of a home. All right, so this is good enough. And even the player, when it's playing on a cloth perhaps can use this area. You know, sniping perhaps with a Tommy gun or <laughs> just to see the player. Or other players just yes. um, trying to fight. So this can be a nice area because I plan to introduce. Oh, well, I plan to put a napalm launcher. So here <laughs> can be a nice area to spot uh, the innocent players. Okay, so I did that part. Now. Uh, the coffin shop goes here. Uh, 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 uh. Let me check real quick. Mm, yeah, and it's gonna have, of course, uh, windows. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did all this. Uh, <laughs> all the areas really, really big, <laughs> but doesn't matter. Um. Like this, and then two more uh, windows here. And I'm going to make small ones here. And that's it. Um, oh, sorry. I could do this or hand. Anyways. Perfect. And Mm. 
for now you need to imagine that this is a <laughs> it's a shop with all these <laughs> great stuff <laughs> thank you so much Daman. thank you so much for your words really appreciate it uh enjoy your uh, your dinner uh we go mm -hmm. you know like for now i believe this is even like too big for me maybe later or at another time i'll reduce its size I mean, for me, it's like a bit big, but anyway, next area, this corridor, this wall, <laughs> uh, jug, or back jug, or whatever. Thanks, the man, for, for following me. <laughs> really appreciate it. And yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'll enjoy <laughs> building the the charts. Because I have already an idea. Build it and it's gonna be really good. So uh this is the main entrance. And and mm. okay, good. Okay, so actually, mm. I have to move. Okay, I have to move the window. Yeah, I have to move it. And that's very easy to do. So four, one, four. Okay, then I select it. And okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Good. Now, this is going to be a secret area. I plan that, you know, like the player. Ooh, what's. Oh, yeah. I know what's going on. I didn't insert the points here. Okay. So, the player won't be able to uh, break uh, the, the bars I'm going to put here. No, there's no way to do that. However, the player should be able to to uh, rationalize that. Hey, so there's like some things obstructing the way. So uh, maybe you know, if I can blow up the door from from inside, I'll be able to uh, get whatever it's here. Okay, so. That's the point. So. Yes. It. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, this is too big. So I'll not force, but I'm going to uh, reduce the size. This is too wide. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now.
Something like this. As I was saying, the player won't pass through this area from here. On the mausoleum. And there we go. I need one room size here. Okay. Oops. Nope. Go up. Very, very good. Right now, yeah, it's good. So, I reduce the size right here and nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm not going to forget this secret stash. That's a secret, obviously. Mm. All right. So yes. Whoops. Mm -mm. Or maybe the size was, I mean, the the distance was all right. Maybe I only needed to, yeah, it was right. So I'm going to, yes, okay. So, well, not that uh, I'm too <laughs> focused, you know, on doing the, the map. So, um, I wanted to share something uh, with with ye. Um, and it's like how I started, um, like testing things on road maps. And I remember uh, when I was living in Spain that uh, there was a kind of child, you know, let's say uh, eight years old, eight years old. Uh, I remember uh, in Spain there was a lot of uh, piracy. You know, there were a lot of uh, ripped games. Uh, there were a lot of <laughs> illegal copies, so to speak. Uh, they contain a lot of games, you know, Warcraft 2, E4 Speed, um, Warcraft, games like that. And Blood was included, along with, I remember, uh, Planet of Dead and Big Nukem 3D, the uh, Plutonium Pack. It was the Plutonium Pack, not the Atomic Edition, the Plutonium Pack. And Blood was. Included as I said, and um, I remember the version I had was the European version, the 1.01, and I really liked the, the game a lot. So I started to find, I, I wanted to find more. Uh, stuff about blood. I wanted to find out more, and I dis and I discovered uh, 
the extinct planet blood. Well, actually, the Planet Spy uh, website. They had a lot of things. And it was. Uh, it was very. Uh, how can I say this? It was exciting. What's exciting? Because, you know, once I had internet at home, uh, I could learn from other people who started to make maps. Not only for plot, but for other games. And because I loved plot so much, I decided to give it a try. At the beginning, I tried with Duke Nukem 3D. And <laughs> there was something really funny because I wasn't I wasn't able to switch to 3D mode, so I could work on 2D mode with a you know with the old uh, uh, build map editor, and um, I tried with a numerical path enter impossible, so I quit, and I tried with. You can come 3D. And surprise, I could switch to 3D both. <laughs> so I started doing my my maps, you know, like sample maps, trying to figure things out. It was very exciting. Mm, no, not this one, sorry. Uh, where was the other one? The other texture. This one. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, as I was saying, I started to make maps for plot. However, I didn't release anything at all. Why? Because I wasn't confident of my skills. I thought, whoa, my maps suck. <laughs> like, really suck. <laughs> and so I thought that I needed to play more user maps and see how I could improve. And I was able to improve. And make things better. Okay, and I was uh, really lucky because I found the Michael Sire, uh, Michael Sire's website about my pet, and he had a wonderful manual about blood. Uh, Michael Sire, uh, the surname is S H. I R E. I don't know how to pronounce it again. <laughs> okay, so um, at that at that point, I didn't have a good understanding of English. Funny though, I learned a lot of English by playing video games. And eventually, I wanted to know what that manual said. And so I took, because I remember at that time, Google Tra Translate wasn't available. There were other free uh, machine translators available at the time. And so <laughs> I started to automatically translate. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, Daniel. A bug. Okay, that makes sense because even if I uh, deactivated the numerical pad, um, I wasn't unable. I wasn't unable. So yeah, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So you know, like I I tried. And when Mapster was released, it was uh, the first Mapster 
it was like a, another uh, build uh, program, but <laughs> fully functional. <laughs> so I could uh, do some things for Duke three D. Okay, it crashed. It crashed. Okay. Mm. Well, in my case, you know, I I wasn't able to. It always uh show me the 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 cursed message highlight pointers checked all the time. <laughs> so you know, like who knows? Instead, if I was successful with Duke 3D, I would be doing. Maybe stream is only for Duplicum 3D. But there's something that is also really, really uh, fun, though. Okay, what it is, the sector? Okay, here. Um, okay, 18. There was another funny thing. The first game... There are two games that I remember came to to my home. One was Havoc, that was developed by an extinct developer called Reality Bytes. And if you're curious, you can get it at 3D Shooter Legends. It's there. And another game that I didn't remember at that time was Doom 2. So I don't know how, but my uh, brother, my older brother, uh, got a copy of the game. And they started to play it. And I only remember One of the parts from Tricks and, and Traps, which is the the final stage. Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember the final stage only, in which there's like a few platforms that lowers once uh, you step on them. And I remember my my, my brothers were unable to <laughs> to uh, to cross that those platforms. Remember that they were playing with the keyboard, okay? So it was uh, it was a bit tricky. And um, that that was the only thing I remember it. And I really wanted to to know the game, but then when I was you know a child, I thought, well, I can't describe that to my <laughs> to my to my brothers, but they won't be able to remember it. So then I uh, I had Unicorn and 3D and Blood, and now I'm a Blood fan. So imagine if I was able to learn that that game was Dune 2. I wouldn't be doing this, <laughs> this streaming. Okay, so I'm just trying to. Okay, this texture. Uh, yes, I want. I'm trying to figure out the best. Height of this, so maybe this height is good enough. Let me check, and I believe it is. Yep, it is. So here I'm going to make arcs. Here is the altar, and that's it. Before going any farther, I want to make this secret stash. It's going to be, uh, let's say, um, let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe um, a different texture, a different color or something like that, or just a picture. I don't know. Let's see. Blood is a classic indeed, uh, Scumbo. It's a, it's a classic. It's a pity that it doesn't get more attention. So, and perhaps this is going to sound, that sounded contradictory or like no sense. You can see on the internet lots of comments 
saying, wow, Clone is great, it's the best FPS ever made. Uh, I love the game, uh, blah, 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 you know, all that stuff. That's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to read that, as you know, uh, Blood is my favorite video game. Um, however, when you go to the community, you can see it's thin. It's small, I mean, it's small. Um, so, on one hand, you have a lot of people praising the game, and on the other hand, you have uh, not so many people doing things for the game. And I und completely understand that. As, as I said before, this game is uh, hard to mod. It's hard to make maps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, uh, Petri. Yeah, we have a lot of people afraid of cultists. Um, nah, but you know, cultists, cultists can be your friends sometimes if you know how to deal with them. If you uh, take advantage of, or they poor intelligence or they low IQ, <laughs> you can do good things. I plan at some point to stream uh, like playing add-ons here on, the, on Twitch at some point. I'll see, you know, but that's my intention. But right now I'm going step by step. I'll have time for, for doing such things later. That's correct, PHP. That's what happens because I, I, I can't really understand the logic behind some people. But if you get your ass kicked in a way that it really hurts, <laughs> just lower the skill. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, you, you aren't a bad player by doing that. You don't have to demonstrate that you are a blood pro player. Okay, that's not the point. The point is to enjoy the game. You know, when I... Th this is another anecdote. Uh, when I started playing Iron Fury for the first time, I did it on the third skill. Yeah, like... Uh, yeah. Ultra violence, yeah. Kind of. Four skill is like kind of ultra violence. Extra cry speed is for me uh, worse than nightmare. Of course, you don't have a res uh, continuous respawn, but it's really hard to crack. Uh, in fact, if anybody uh, visits my YouTube channel, you'll see that most of my uh, custom maps are playing on extra crispy, so you can see how hard the the um, the machine can punch you. And of course, extra crispy. Oh yeah, yeah, indeed. That's been for that reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's uh, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. By the way, welcome, uh, Dusty. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you here. So, uh, basically, yeah, just for some of you, I'm doing like a homage to the M E1 M1. Okay, so you have the mausoleum here. I'm going to start in a different way. First, a uh, graveyard. Or graveyard, then the courtyard. Naturally, you have full view of this scenery. And then this is the. Uh, it's not going to be like a funeral home, kind of a church and funeral home at the same time, you know. Uh, uh, it's. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Extra Christ B was intended for co-op, but nothing stops you uh, from playing uh, in single player. You know, it's up to the user, up to the player. Uh, uh, and I'm going to. So, again, left shift and middle mouse button, control delete. There you go. Now this tiny spot, maybe with what it's gonna be. Okay, yep, perfect. And here's the, uh, here's the charge. And here is gonna be the, um, the altar and I was about to say something about the game difficulty, but now I don't remember. Mm. Ah, anyway, <laughs> well, um, but yeah, yeah, about the uh, yeah game difficulty, like this play uh, players that. Uh, they don't know what the, I mean, the game difficulty. And when I was playing uh, Iron Fury, I started on level skill three, because I thought if I start right away on on skill number uh, number four, I'm going uh, I'm going to regret it, and perhaps I'm going to hate the game, <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So I started to level three, and. Um, I had a tough time, so I said, "Okay, I'm not going to complete this game on level three just now. I level skill three, so I lowered to two, and I had a nice, a nice experience with Ion Fury. So good, you know, like so good. And then I beat the 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 game level skill three and four." And I can't wait to aftershock. I can't wait for it. Well, actually, I'm waiting a lot, and all of ye are waiting a lot. <laughs> well, not hit scans. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah, that's right, not hit scans. In that regard, it's easier. Um, let me. Think real quick. Okay, yeah, I was doing this area. Yes, and why did I? Because oh yes, yes, it was like kind of a this area somehow. Okay, so here there's like kind of a door or something that goes this way. You know, oh, ah, there's another funny thing. Oh, okay, I want to insert points. Ah, I can't. <laughs> so I have first to uh, delete this, and then after that, I can insert. Uh, before, you were able to do it, not now. Yep. Yeah, I hope they they put more open environments. I must say some of them repeat it a lot and mm, at some point it became repetitive. Unfortunately, because really, I mean the level design for Iron Fury is top notch. Top notch. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is a curve that I'm going to do later, not now. But I want to keep it like this, and it's going to be okay. This area, and it's going to be another graveyard, and okay, structure here, all sides. Okay, good. <sighs> Whoops. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, in regards to um, in regards to game skills, that's all what I had to say. I mean, it's really easy, you know. But when people try on lightly broil it and they say, "Oh no, this is so hard," well, lower a skill, lower the skill just by one level or two. Yeah, me too, Dusty. <laughs> we had a, a similar experience, indeed. Yeah, we had a similar experience. Okay, I believe there, there is a secret here. Another secret. Oh, yeah, it's that area. Okay, oh, yeah. So I believe I used... Okay, so this is kind of fun. Okay. So this is a platform I remember that should lower. Yeah, and there's gonna be it's going to be another platform with zooms I, I want to do it beautiful but yeah I can see this is too small okay so yeah now but the time you know the the, the time is here in uh, in Ireland is yeah like six minutes to twelve. So okay, yes, for the for next time I'll do the streaming a bit later, perhaps. We'll go in. And enjoy at the same time. Okay, so okay. So yeah, I believe that's it for now. I believe, yeah. Uh, so I leave it here. I have to to do the other half of the map. Um, so basically, uh, once again, uh, I'm doing mm, one moment. I'm following. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Dusty. So yeah, I just I'm going to wrap up. So I'm going just to. Uh, so again, the uh, the manual. Okay, so basically, um, you're working on this. You'll have naturally the table of contents. You can go and navigate uh, freely, and I I'm not going to put uh, a release date for this when. <laughs> when it's done and that's it and well for the next uh, streaming that I don't know when when it's gonna be I want to do it next week but uh, I'll see the date I'll be naturally following my workflow I'm still doing the modeling so hopefully hopefully for the next streaming I'll be texturing a little bit and uh, maybe showing other operations because uh, right now uh, my my intention, you know, at the beginning before my laptop failed, was to uh, follow a little bit uh, 
this part, you know, the mo mode tools and, you know, like show you, uh, sorry, see the mode tools and show you operations and more stuff, you know, the flags and things like that. Operation for copying, pasting, you know. But uh, I have to admit that uh, when <laughs> the streaming uh, went down, uh, I, I I lost the, the energy that I have at the beginning. Okay, but anyways, uh, next week we we'll have the the next part. And thank you so much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed this streaming, and I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Take care. Thank you.